Hello everybody, my name is Jojo Beans. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing some more Axis and Allies and we are going to be doing the World War II mode. And today we have five options here. I think today we are going to play as... Ooh, this is a rough one. I think we're going to go as Japan today and let's go with... Let's go with my boy Yamato. We're going to get right into this. Alright, so the way this works, as you can see, this is a map of the entire world. You have your armies, and uh, we are going to try to take out whoever we can and conquer the world. So I think my first goal is that there's two Axis powers, Germany and Japan, and there's three allies, Russia, Great Britain, and America. And uh, so if you are playing as allies, you have to take out both of the enemies, Germany and Japan, to win. And if you're playing as Axis, you have to take out two of the three allies to win. Now, Germany, Germany excuse me, typically, I think they take out Russia first and then they go after Great Britain. So I'm going to try to aid them with that and uh, we are going to try to really focus on taking out Russia first and uh, Great Britain. Hopefully Germany will go after Great Britain and we'll take out Russia and this will be a pretty quick episode and we'll be able to take them out uh, fairly easily and quickly. So let's see, I think we might actually move down here instead of going after that Russian unit um, up there and push through more this way because the Euro Mountains give us plus 10. As you can see up here, this is our money, so we have $50 to spend, and then the countries, different countries, give you different amounts of money, and so we get 24 per turn. But now enemies could, of course, capture our territories, and then we start to lose money. So if we can push through here and drive a dividing wedge in between, as well as taking out these countries, like especially the Ural Mountains, that's going to lower Russia's income a lot, which means they can't buy new units. Because as you see, to buy just the infantry is $25. So if I were to buy a mechanized right now, which I will go ahead and do, my next turn I only get $24. So I can't even buy an infantry unit. So that is the sort of goal that you want to be working towards is capturing a bunch of countries, because that's going to cut down the money that your enemies are getting on their turn, and then also taking out their armies, because it'll take them so long to build back up. So let's go ahead and take this out, and I think that's all we can do. We don't really start out with a huge army here, so we're going to go ahead and end our turn. And Germany's moving in on Russia there, which is great. And as you can see also, they started moving units over here into the French coast, so they are already gearing up for their attack on Great Britain. Now hopefully all these guys here will move in and take out Russia, and then they'll start building up their attack towards Great Britain. I am going to move these guys into Western China and try to help Germany from this side. And uh, the reason I'm not moving these guys here to get them over here is because, as you can see, this one still touches this one. So either way it would be moves, but now by moving here, I am taking out southeastern Asia away from Britain. So that cuts down their supply as well. Actually, actually, I'm going to move two of these guys up here in Manchuria to go take out this Russian unit. And let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and buy another infantry. And we will move him. Let's see, what do these give me? Those are just one dollar each. So I'll move him over here as well. And that will be it for this turn. Oh, an armor and two infantry lost to that mechanized. Okay, so kind of forced my hand here a little bit. I was going to move these troops into the Ural Mountains and then have these guys take out Siberia, 
but now they have moved a troop down here into Kazakhstan, which does not give me as much. But what I can actually do is just move one unit there and then go in with these guys here. And you can only attack once per turn, so there's not anything else I can do. Um. Yeah, I will just leave that for now. And go ahead and uh, quick resolve that. There we go. And in turn. Oh, that was a dumb move, Britain. That was a dumb move. Okay, and as you can see, they're trying to take out my units because they desperately want the Ural Mountains. So, now that they have moved their troops out, I will move these into Siberia. And we will see if we can, with our troops here, take out these units up here. I, I wish I could wait and use these guys, but we'll see. We have 87% win rate, and yep, we got them. Let's go ahead and end our turn. Alright, so now Britain is creating a bit of a problem for us here. And... Russia as well. I think we are going to have to go take this guy out first. And then we will not buy anything because we'll wait so we can get another mechanized. Alright, so now this puts us in a great position actually because now we can take out... Russia only has two armored and four infantry left it looks like, and they have just moved this armor out into the Ural Mountains, so we are going to take the Ural Mountains back, as well as eliminating one of their armor. And then we'll go over here and we will buy a mechanized. And I think for right now we can move it over here. And let's go ahead and quick resolve that and end our turn. Here's Germany's attack. They only have a 42.7% chance of winning. Oh, but it's enough. And of course, three infantry aren't going to be able to do anything. So let's go ahead and take out Alaska there. And then we really want to push towards Great Britain right now. I would like to take out these guys over here, but Russia still has some troops over here, and of course Russia can't deploy any new units while their capital is captured. Uh, but if one of the allies goes in and recaptures it, then it becomes Russia's again, and uh, they can deploy more units. We're going to go ahead and buy another mechanized, and we are going to move that into Midway. And I think that'll do it for this turn. Britain is starting to send in a lot of units, so we have to definitely watch that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take out these Russian guys right here. And let's go over here, and we're going to buy an infantry. Uh, yeah, we'll leave them there. 
actually go on, and take that out because I don't like how these guys are surrounding me down here and I th think we can leave that right there and let's go ahead and take this guy out Oh boy, Great Britain's moving in on Germany. Germany was able to withstand the attack, and they moved more units in. Russia upgraded to a mechanized over there. Go ahead and try to take out the rest of these Russian troops over here. And oh, Persia's worth seven, so we'll go get that and. Go ahead and get another mechanized. Um, I think we'll move him down there, and then we'll go take out maybe Marshall Islands next. Quick uh, resolve that. And end turn. Okay, that was a bad move on Britain's part to spread their troops out like that because now, of course, Germany is going to be able to wipe them out now that they're individually spread out. Uh, let's move in here because we don't want Russia to be getting money per turn. I'll move him down into Saudi Arabia. And... Move these guys back up here into Belarus and we'll try to move through the top and then go take out Europe. Or not Europe, uh, Great Britain. Palestine, and we will no, I already moved those guys, so I will go let's go attack oh wait, no, I already attacked okay, so we will go take back Southeast Asia and that is all that I can do at this time, I think, except I am actually going to move these guys out of midway and bring them up here to try to take out these Russian troops over here. Alright, Great Britain just moved their troops out of Britain, which is going to make it easier for us, and wow, the German infantry beats the mechanized. That's great. Let's, uh... Go ahead and move these guys in down here. And... We'll go take over Egypt. And let's see if we can beat Great Britain with this army. It's not the biggest. But if we take it out, we've already got Russia under control pretty well. So if we can do this, we win the game. Oh, and we have a 100% win chance. So that is going to win us the game. 
And that is how to win World War II mode as Japan. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like down below, comment what your favorite part was, or what video you'd like to see in the next video, or what game you'd like played in the next video. And uh, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.